Hi guys, I love comparing fragrances. And last week, someone gave me a sample of uh, 400 from Zerjoff. Uh, it's from the JTC Join the Club collection. Um, and they come, the bottles are like this shape, but they're blue. Um, and someone said it's like a female version of Naxos. And I think a lot of you out there know Naxos already. It's very much talked about. Um, and I was really surprised that I have actually missed this fragrance. It came out in 2021, so it's fairly new. But I actually worked in a shop that sold this for like six Saturdays, and I just missed it. I can't believe I did. Uh, so it like opens up like really tropical with ylang ylang and orange flower and um, let's see rose, um, and then it has this like all these citruses in the top and one bitter citrus note, bitter orange. Um, and this, I think this makes a real big difference to the fragrance. Uh, and then it has white tobacco. Um, and in the base, it has uh, vanilla, patchouli, vetiver, and cedar wood. Uh, so if there's an overlap um, with Naxos. I used to own a bottle of this, but I sold it because I tended not to reach for it. I found it too masculine and too kind of deep and, and heavy, uh, especially on the tobacco. But the, the tobacco in 400 is white tobacco, and I think that it also has tobacco blossom maybe. Um, because it's different, it's lighter, but it, it's just enough uh, that with the bitter or the bitter orange and the citruses, it never goes too sweet. Because it has all these really sweet flowers, and with that honey, you would think that maybe it would be cloyingly sweet, but it isn't. Um, and I think it was um, the perfume guy, Sebastian, said that um, this could be, this 400 could be an alternative to uh, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Um, because that one, to me, is really, really sweet. Like, too sweet to wear. I, I was almost like, oh my god, like, uh, sickeningly sweet. But this one, uh, I think he kind of described it as like, the white tobacco makes it just a little bit dirty <laughs> or something. And I think that he's got a point there. And then the bitterness really came out when I, today, I tried them both side by side. I wore this all by itself, the 400, last week, and I just really, really enjoyed it and the way it kind of like gave me whiffs of this fragrance all day long. Um, and I thought it was more similar to Naxos then than I did now when I, when I wore them on one, each one arm and the differences really came out. Um, so 400 is much more tropical. Uh, the honey note is very similar. Um, it, there is definitely that surge off DNA, and I don't think that there's anything strange about that because it's that's kind of like a band would have a special sound, and as soon as they start playing, even though it's a different song, you can hear it's that it's them, or a writer that you know writes a new novel. It's not about the same thing; they're different characters, but it's the same style, and I think it's the same here. You know, you find a good honey accord, and then you keep using it, but you change you know the other things around, and it kind of has a same similar vibe. But the, the bitterness from the bitter orange um, really kind of came out. And especially like when I put my nose straight to my skin, uh, that bitterness is like really prominent. I think I liked it better like from a little bit of a distance. And I think that you should not go too close. Some fragrances are like that. And I think I tried one amber fragrance recently. Was it Shalimar EDP? And I think also one, one other amber like a classic amber, was it Amber Sultan perhaps? Or Cormandel, the EDT version, like gets really like animalic or bitter. Um, I don't know if it's from the leather, if one of those have leather maybe, but they get it almost goes sour on the skin if you put your nose too close, but from a little bit of a distance, it just kind of gives little puffs and it smells incredible. And I think this one is unbelievably delicious. I think it's just perfectly sweet. I'm, I'm really, honey's really growing on me as a note. I love Bengal Rouge. Um, I'm still not at slow dive. Uh, I don't love honey when it when it's like all alone, um, when all that when that's all you can smell. But when they've used it to kind of like deepen the fragrance, and these are both like both Naxos and um, 400 are really real, like dense fragrances. Um, they really perform so well. I love them both. Um, and I don't think that it's good to, really to try them side by side because the bitter, the, the, the more sour and bitter fragrance will kind of stand out as being more bitter than it really is because your nose has just been in the sugar bowl. Kind of like when you've had like a, something really sweet to drink and then you have an orange after that and the orange kind of seems sour. 
um, because it's, you know, in contrast to what you just had in your mouth. I think it's the same here. Like Naxos is so easy to like. It, it's so, it's all about, you know, honey and cinnamon and tobacco and it's all deep and there's no, um, there's nothing like sour or bitter or anything. Then this one just kind of seems more bitter when I went from one to the other. So I think that they should be uh, evaluated uh, each one by itself and not to be compared. Uh, but if I had to choose to buy a bottle today, I would not repurchase Naxos. I love that one, but I love it. I think I would prefer it on a man. I would buy the 400 uh, from Join the Club for sure.